one more minute and once it's live, we'll get started. I think it's live then. All right. Namaste everyone, we'll get started with the class in a minute. I'm just sharing it on Facebook so uh, everyone has access to it. All right, let's get started. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Hindi University. Uh, really excited to, to have everyone back this Sunday. Uh, my name is Ashutosh. As you know, we meet every uh, Sunday, 8 a.m. Um, US uh, Pacific time. And we learn about the Hindi language. Um, you know, for those of you who are new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us uh, by going to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Hindi University. Um, you can also go to our uh, a page that we maintain, which is the you know uh, important one, tiny.cc slash Hindi University, um, where you can find all the details about uh, how to join the, the Sunday Zoom classes. And also you can find the details for the practice uh, sessions that we have. Uh, we do the practice sessions pretty uh, frequently, uh, coordinated by all the, uh, the Hindi students. And um, the timing is uh, planned in such a way that whether wherever you are located, you know, you'll be able to find at least a convenient time that works for you in your location, okay, regardless of wherever you are, okay. Um, as well as like if you missed any of the previous classes, uh, you can find on this uh, page as well, tiny.cc slash Hindu University, and uh, we've categorized them in such a way that it will be easier for you to find uh, uh, the previous classes, okay. Uh, if you're a completely beginner, you'll find the, the link of our book as well, which is Pingu Learns Hindi. Um, all of those are very useful resources. Okay, so with that in mind, first of all, before you, I even start the class, wish all the, the mothers, um, you know, a very happy Mother's Day. Um, you know, uh, it's a special day, so, you know, uh, do celebrate it. Okay, so um, as you know, we've been uh, working on a topic and uh, right to read, we've been working on the book called Teach Yourself Hindi. Uh, which is the book by Professor uh, Rupert Snell, Teach Yourself Hindi. Uh, you can get a soft copy of the book uh, from the, the, the link that I shared with you um, in case if you don't have the, the hard copy. And uh, we are going over chapter number 14 of this book. And uh, in the previous class, we started working on a topic called Relative Clause. And uh, we, we realized that, you know, we started working on some advanced uh, sentences right away. And uh, I, I thought it would be a good idea for us to break it down further. And for those of you who didn't, who couldn't join the class before, it was about Utna, Jitna, okay? And we learned about how to use Utna and Jitna in Hindi sentences. Okay, and um, these are relative clauses which are used in pairs, just like you know, jaisa, vesa, you know, utna, jitna, jab, tab. Um, now, when do we use it? How do we use it? We'll go into detail a bit further in, in today's class. And my goal is by the end of this class, uh, you know, you will be at least you'll have some more, uh, you know, understanding of it and you'll be able to use it more confidently as before, okay? Um, so what are relative clause? Relative clauses are the words which are used to, these are you words or pairs, used to compare things, okay? They are major, most of the sentences you'll come across, they are used to compare things, okay? and. Um, oftentimes they're used in pairs, uh, like Uttana and Jitna um, in one sentence, but you can manage to convey the same thing even without using them uh, together. Okay, even if you're using one of them, you can still convey the, 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 the same meaning. Okay. Um, let's start with a very, very basic example. Okay, and after that we can make it a little bit more complex. Any questions, by the way, before we 
we will dig deeper into it. I know I just jumped right into it, but any questions, anyone? You can unmute yourself and, and ask. Uh, if not, I'll. I'm yes, not. Ashiji, does the order of the words matter? Uh, you can change it. Uh, however, you have to still use it in a, in, a, in, a, in a manner, right? You cannot just replace Uttana with Chitna. However, if both of them are used, you can change it, right? Thank you but so we'll much. Discuss, yeah, we'll, we'll discuss that. Yeah. So imagine you have a sentence like this. Apple is not as sweet as a gulab jamun, and which is a it's a it's a dessert. So if you've not heard of it or missed it, I introduce you to a new uh, new Indian dessert. Okay, gulab jamun. Um, so let's say you have this sentence: Apple is not as sweet as gulab jamun. You are comparing the sweetness. Okay, that's one of the the trait that you're comparing. And in English, you are calling saying it is as sweet as. Okay. Now, one of the things we learned as we were going through the class, it was hard. How do I know where to put Utna or where to put Jitna? Okay. So we'll just break it down even further. So let's say, let's not even worry about this thing. Let's say you are saying the very first sentence, which is apple is not sweet. Don't even worry about comparing it. That's your base sentence. Okay, how will you say that in Hindi? Apple is not sweet. Kinga, you want to unmute yourself and tell us how will you say apple is not sweet in Hindi? Consider it in masculine. Right Sef, uh, mitai, nahi hai. Say, very good. Say, mitha. Mitha nahi hai. Nahi hai. Very good. Say, mitha nahi hai. So far, so good, right? There's no problem with it. Okay. Now let's say you want to say apple is not that sweet. You're not comparing it with anything. You're just saying apple is not that sweet. Like you, you tasted it and like, okay. Let's see, Nandiniji, how will you say that? Apple is not that same, same itna meter mm -hmm. nahi hai. Very good, right? So you said same itna meter. Tell us a little bit more about how did you come up with this word? You used so basically all you did is there was earlier it was simple yeah. same meter nahi hai. In the second sentence, you ended up using another word called itna. Mm. Yep, go for it's it. It's not ahead. that much sweet is what I'm thinking in my head. And I changed actually to be, I did the other way. I thought of Jitna and that converted it to Jitna. Maybe I'm yeah. wrong. Okay, anyone but, else? Uh, like, yeah. Not that much. That much is what I have. Okay, so what you paid attention to is you're saying is like, you know, when you read the sentence, it came across to you is like not that much. Okay, you're not comparing it with any other object, but to you, it's like, you know, it's not that sweet. Okay, um, and that gave you the, the, the hint that you have to use, uh, you know, another uh, keyword with it, which is say itna meta nahi hai. And any questions on this one before I move further? Make sense to everyone? Say itna meta nahi hai. No, okay. not to me. Why itna? I don't understand why itna. Okay. Um, who would like to, who else would like to share their thoughts? Why itna? So let's say, even think about it in English, you, uh, you know, you went to watch a movie, okay? First way would be, you will say, oh, movie is not great. Okay, second one would be, you can say, oh, movie is not that great, right? If I were to ask you, like, why are you, when will you use that? What, what, what comes to your mind? Like in this scenario, you will, you say, it's like, it's not that great. Or, you know, you, you went to a restaurant, you ate the food and somebody asked you, like, how was the food? Like, okay, not that, not that, you know, fantastic, right? It, it was below my expectation. It was below yes. your expectation, right? Yeah. And that's when you will use the additional word, even in English, that, right? So similarly, let's say you, 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 in this case, you're trying an apple. Okay. And um, 
you know, for some reason, you know, you found it is not that sweet. And that's when you will end up using the, the, the word here, itna. What okay. does itna exactly mean, Asuji? Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll tell you what it means. Okay. So let me erase this part. Now, if you go by literal uh, meaning of Asuji? it. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you can say apple is not that much sweet in a different manner. Like, you know, in other contexts, like a seb zada mita nahi hai. But in this case, we are going to bring out the itna because we are going to compare it with the later gulab jamun or something. Yeah. So you are, in your head, it is not as sweet as we are going yeah. to go. So, you're right. You can use other uh, you know ways to compare. You can say jada meter nahi hai. But in my case, I'm building a case of utna yeah. in jitna. So that's why I started very simple. Save meter nahi hai. Now the question is, what is the just the meaning of just itna? Okay, so sorry, I made a mistake, didn't I? I should, I should have said no, no. utna. Sorry. No, 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 no worry. So for you and like you know, now don't go by the literal meaning of it because Hindi speakers, when they're saying the sentences, they can mix it up. But I'll just still give you the, the meaning of it. So you have jitna. So these are the four very similar uh, sounding Hindi words, itna, and then this one, you know, utna and jitna, we are learning about it in this class. Kitna is the applicable interrogative in this case, okay? So kitna you should know is how much, right? Um, kitna do chahi, how much milk do you want, okay? Um, you know, um, so it's basically interrogative. Utna and Jitna, we learned about it, right? Utna is that much. And Jitna is as much. Okay, now what about Itna? The difference between Itna and Utna, it's now, when you read the grammar books, they will simply say it's about proximity of things. If somebody is, something is close to you, then you use Itna and something is far, uh, then you will use utna. So now quite literally, they will say this much. Okay. Like this much versus that much. But in sentences, it may not work just like the way it is. But just because you ask, like, what is the one-to-one -one translation? That's how it is. Like this much, that much, as much, and how much. Yeah? Now go back to this, uh, the the case that you are building. Apple is not sweet. Apple mita nahi hai. Apple is not that sweet. Apple itna mita nahi hai. Now, the next one, you want to say apple is, you want to go into the trajectory of, it's not as sweet. And in this case, you in your mind, you know that you want to compare it against something, okay? But I still don't want to use the full sentence. Okay, apple is not as sweet as something else. So you say, same. Utna mitha nahi hai. Same utna mitha nahi hai. In this case, I am using utna. Okay. So before I was using itna, now I am using utna. Say utna mitha nahi hai. Okay. Somebody can ask you counter question. Kitna mitha nahi hai. Okay. Kitna mitha nahi hai. I'm going to erase this one. Now your response could be same. I'm going to just say gulab jamun. Gulab jamun ke jitna. Mita nahi hai. Okay, same gulab jamun ke jitna mita nahi hai. I didn't use now in this case. This is your item A, item B, which it is compared against. Okay, so when you are writing both of them, 
this one which you are comparing against you put k jitna right after that seb gulab jamun ke jitna meetha nahi hai okay um i'm going to give you a formula but right now just try to have at least at a high level try to have this you know you know the these sentences in your mind seb meetha nahi hai just apple is not sweet seb you know when you are not comparing it with anything you are just saying like seb is just relatively right and seb itna meetha nahi is not that sweet okay seb utna meetha nahi hai and seb gulab jamun ke jitna meetha nahi hai okay if it is still not clear just hang in there two more examples and um, wait asha ji is is okay. number 3 just a fragment waiting for its that's right okay for the next part to come okay so asha ji asha ji so apple is not as sweet as the the indian sweet yeah yes this is what oh, number 4 so apple is not as sweet as okay as sweet as that's right apple is not as sweet as gulab jamun that indian sweet okay okay Okay. Yeah. So that is the full sentence. We are just going one by one as how mm. to, you know, uh, how to okay. use it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Still questions? Let me know before I move on and erase it and uh, give you the formula. Okay. So let's say this is still not clear. This is still not making sense. How do we? make a formula out of it so in english you said like you know something something is not as as okay this was your thing you can say x y and this can be your adjective okay you can say um ashu is not as tall as let's say you know kelly okay apple is not as sweet as you know um jalebi or gulab jamun okay uh and then something similar like you know is something is not as short as so more or less this is your uh this is your formula okay these are the sentences you are coming across two ways to say it first one is the thing that you are talking about x you can call it x and you can put utna adjective nahi hai okay i'm just putting utna but you know based on the gender you can say utna utni utne okay so let's say you don't want to use the and pair you can simply say apple utna meetha nahi hai okay ashu utna lamba nahi hai you know that it's being compared against something else but it is implied that it is being compared and you know do do the other things you are talking about okay uh let's say you want to be very explicit then you can say so this is x is something you are talking about okay that's your rule number 1 second one is x which is something and then y k jitna and then your adjective nahi hai you can write it down these are the two formula um in this case y is something you are comparing against so y is something you are comparing against okay x will come first thing that you are talking about y is something that you are comparing against that will come later and after that you are putting k jitna whatever adjective you want to compare against ke jitna dash nahi hai okay now my my thoughts are that you know with this you should you should be able to have which where where things will go okay uh let's test it out okay um we can test it out so let's say um uh, who like to go uh 
we have Ted. Ted, you want to unmute and use formula number one. Go with, you have flexibility. You can choose any example you want in the world. You, do, you can't speak? Okay, no worries. Rita ji, you want to unmute yourself? Um, Just use first one right now. Okay. Uh, Kayla, uh, Kayla mm -hmm. Utna, um, Sabe, P K Ut Kayla Utna, Sabe, Nahihe? Where's okay. the Pila? And where's the what adjective? Is, what, what, is the, what is the adjective that you want to use? Uh, Pila. Pila. Yeah, well, Pila. Very good, right? Okay. So Kayla Utna, Pila Nahihe. Pila Nahihe. It's not yellow. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, use formula, you compare it against something. So, Kayla, uh, save Kajit na pila nahi hai. Okay, all right, good, good. Anyone else would like to try this formula? Hindi cowboy, you want to unmute yourself and uh, give your understanding? You can use any other adjectives also. If you need more time, that's completely okay. Okay, go for it. Okay. Go for it. Chennai Utna Thandi Nahi Hai. Okay, very good. Chennai is the name of the city, and you are saying Chennai Utna Utni uh, city. It's, it's not that cold. Okay, good. Utna thanda nahi hai. Next one. Chennai. Okay, Chennai, uh, Hyderabad. Ki jitna. Ki jitna thandi nahi hai. Very good. So the same. Okay. Yeah, very good. Right. So you're comparing the temperature of two cities. Okay. And you are saying in two different ways. In first one, you're using just Utna, you know. Um, second one, you're comparing against like, you know, in this case, you said Hyderabad, you could even say something more colder to show the contrast. Like Shimla ke jitna thanda nahi hai, or thandi nahi hai, right? And that will make complete, complete sense, okay? So X, Chennai, you're putting first because you're comparing against, uh, you know, a different city. So you can say X, Y ke jitna thanda nahi hai. So I have a question. You yeah. said it could also be utna, utni, or utne. So if you're comparing two feminine objects, would it be utni and kejitni? Or what if you're comparing a masculine object with a feminine object? Yeah, yeah. So we will we will come to that as well. Like right now, you know, we're just keeping it like you know um, simple. But as you said, like you know, uh, you can say two full sentences. You know, you know, if it is you want to be explicit, chitna. Jitna Thanda, you know, um, Jitna Thanda, you know, uh, uh, Hyderabad hai, Utna uh, Chennai nahi hai. But I see your point. We will do that as well in the example. So you can see when there is a mix and match, when do you use Utna versus, you know, Utni, Utne and Jitna, Jitni, Jitne. But right now, just have this at least formula written down. Uh, so at least you, you remember the, the sequence of it. Ashuji, can you repeat yeah. those? Or actually, Hindi cowboy, we know who you are. Can you repeat? Yeah. Can you repeat those um, a little slower so that I can just get them again? The examples. Um, Ashuji, can I try something? Well, one, one minute. Okay, so I think let's finish the the sentence, which is uh, which was said before the the Chennai, and then after that we can go. Chennai utna thandi nahi hai. Chennai utna than nahi hai. Or say, if you want to be just to be clear, if you want to be very explicit, you can say Chennai may in, in, in city, in the city is not that cold. Chennai may utin nahi hai. Okay. Yeah, it will be much easier. Okay. Next the one. Second one. Chennai Kashmir ke jitna than nahi hai. Or Chennai may Kashmir ke jitni than nahi hai. Yeah, awesome. And there was a question. 
I think it was uh, either Nandini or Radhika, one of them. I think if I understood the <laughs> recognize the voice. <laughs> no, I said I'll I'll just going to try uh, because uh, Rita Ji was asking about Uttini where we. So I'm just uh, thinking of making you know Radhika Nandini K uh, Jitna Koshyar Nahi hai. Okay. Yeah, jitni Jitni Koshyar Nahi hai. That's right. So even so, just for example, okay, I don't doubt it. You guys are equally intelligent, okay? Just for the <laughs> you get the Radhika, Nandini, K, Jitni, and then adjective. Koshyar nahi hai. Okay, K Jitni. So you guys are getting it, right? I mean, at least the uh, for so I want you to do all of you as um, I want you to think about one scenario at least, okay? And I want you to write it in chat. One sample sentence. All of you should try it out because it will give me, um, you know, um, some understanding of where everyone is. Keep it very simple. You heard some sentences. I wrote it. Apple utna mita nahi hai. Apple, uh, you know, gulab jamun ke jitna mita nahi hai. You can keep it very simple. But I do want you to experiment. I do want you to write it down in the chat. Uh, in case if you cannot, you know, say it out loud. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to try using more examples. Okay, so let's say, you know, you want to buy uh, an, a phone. Okay, um, let's say you want to buy an iPhone. Uh, and you want to say it's, iPhone is not as, exp it's expensive, but it's not as, it's not as expensive as a car, okay? So this is the item you're talking about. This is what it's compared against, okay? X, Y, this is your adjective, okay? Uh, you know the formula, okay? Um, how would you say that in Hindi? Tom, you want to unmute yourself and tell us? You know, this is X. This is why. Adjective. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, uh, in this case, it would be uh, kutta or the pull of kutta dogs. Utne. Oh, sorry. Now I'm going to compare them to an elephant. Dogs. Yeah. Elephant. K. Um, bade nahi hai. Okay. So, okay. So you use a different example. So kutta, elephant ke jitna bada nahi, uh, bada nahi hai. That's good. That's a good example. Can you translate? I mentioned to the first one. Then dogs are not that big. If I'm at the zoo, I'm at the elephant cage. Dogs aren't that big. Kuta utne Okay, good. Is there now, a third example I'm missing? No, 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 you're not missing. I just thought you know you can translate this also. iPhone is not as expensive as a car. Yeah, so I iPhone, um, I, and then I guess car. Expensive nahi hai. You're missing. I, I'm, I'm missing ah. the K. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Cell phone, car K, uh, utne. Um, expensive nahi hai. One more time. iPhone, phone, car. I, iPhone, car K, ut, utne. Expensive nahi hai. Okay. So. Turn back and see the formula. Did we use, uh, you know, this is the second case. When you are X, Y, K. Then, then Utne. Would it be Utna or something else? Well, um, are you, are you telling me it must be Jitna? That's right. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. That's my first no. question we started. Yeah. <laughs> so Jit, Jitna. So uh, Jitna. Jitna. And then Jitna. Um, expensive nahi hai. Very good. Very good. Okay. So you see that it's clear now. iPhone, car yes. ki jitna expensive nahi hai. Okay. What is the word for expensive in Hindi? It's Mahenga. Mahenga. Very good. Thank you. Mahenga. Mahenga. Okay. So phone, car ke jitna mahenga nahi hai. Okay. If you were to just say it just independently, you know, you can say phone utna mehenga nahi hai. But now you want to be explicitly comparing it. So X, Y ke jitna 
महंगा नहीं है ओके होपफुली दिस हेल्प्स होपफुली द द द मिस्टेक्स हेल्प्स यू एटलीस्ट रिकॉग्नाइज इट दैट यू नो यू नो व्हेन यू आर कंपेयरिंग इट यू कैन जस्ट सिंपली से के जितना महंगा नहीं है आशु जी या सो आईफोन इज मेल सो इफ आईफोन वुड बी फीमेल आई वुड से के जितनी और नॉट दैट्स राइट सो कार so what you saying like instead of iphone if it is something else if the iphone would be is iphone male so it masculine is. okay it if, is. if if i, so if I would question. so if i would yeah. say if i would use something female would be ke jitni or how would it be let's would, see it. so let's see it. i think this one came up before as well so i think it's a good one to to try it out so let's say it was iphone is not expensive as car so let's say bike Is that K Jitna a post position like blocking the 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 objects again? So it's defaulting. Is that what's that's, going on? I think we can try that as well. So let's say bike, which is feminine. Okay, bike is feminine. So bike, car, K Jitni expensive nahi hai. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is clear. Okay, so K Jitna stays like that. I don't change anything with K Jitna. No, so if it is bike, no, no. bike, car, K, jitni. Ah, K, jitni. Da, okay. Mehengi or expensive. In this case, mehengi. It will become mehengi, not mehenga. Mm -hmm. Mehengi. Nahi hai. Okay. So okay. this is bike. Now let's change that car to something else. Okay. So let's make it phone because phone we identified as masculine. It will become bike, phone, a, what do you mean? Ah, even though it's more expensive, but just for the sake of example, mm -hmm. it will remain the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any other scenario you want to try it out, where you want to change the? So the it remains K Jitney because the first one that you're using, which is bike, mm -hmm. is feminine. And so in the example you gave, it was K Jitna because you used iPhone first, yeah. and iPhone is masculine. That's right. That's Great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Any other scenario? And just what about the mahenga? Is it mahengi because you're yeah. going? Okay. Yes, that's right. It will be mahengi. Right. Let's do one more. Hopefully, it is getting better. Um, now let's do this, the example that we saw in the previous class. But in the previous class, we were still having hard time about the order of jitna and utna. Okay. So now I want you to the one example that we did was new movies are. Not as good as the old ones. Okay, I want you to think about it in in the way we are covering in this class, which is x y k jitna, uh, you know, meter nahi hai or fika nahi hai or mehenga nahi hai. Okay, uh, and I want you to. And I want you to write it down accordingly: x, y, and then k, basically, and then adjective. Nahi hai. Okay, you can say it separately as well. There is no one is stopping you, right? I mean, that's how the 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 textbook will cover it. But um, who would like to try this one? Somebody who's Not tried before. Also, can I try? Can I try? Yeah, yeah go for it. it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so nai movies. I don't know. Uh -huh. That's right. Nai movies. Okay, very good. Nai movies. Right. Old ones. Keep going. I 
I hope I didn't lose you, the connection. So Pur Purani, KG. Very good, right? New movie, Purani. I think I'm losing your connection a little bit. New movie, Purani movies, K. Hear me, Ashuji? Yeah, Purani. I think. In between, I'm losing you, so I don't know whether it is. I'm so sorry. Name. Can you hear me? I yeah. Try now. Okay. Nai movies, purani movies, ke jitni achhi nahi hai. Yeah, because it's fe feminine and plural, it would be ki. Achhi jitni, yeah. Yeah, because it's uh, movies are a uh, feminine, and we are talking yeah. about plural, right? Okay. So, nai movies, purani movies, ke jitni achhi nahi hai. Very good. कि जितनी अच्छी नहीं है. Very good. Okay. अच्छी because you know again it's a, a plural we are talking about feminine plural. Okay. अच्छा mm -hmm. masculine singular अच्छे masculine plural. Well, what about the other example then where it was bike and car and they're both feminine but you said K jitney. Yeah, because it's uh, one one bike. It's uh, feminine plural, right? Uh, you know, नई movies. But I thought. Feminine singular and feminine plural were both with the key, except the one was nasalized or something. Hey, so, yeah. so I didn't know it would be K jitney. So uh, repeat one more time. Like your question is in the first. In the, one, in the bike is not as expensive as a car. Bike, yeah. car, K jitney, mahingi, nahihe. Why would it yeah. be K jitney if both of those are feminine, yeah. even if they're singular? Did I say K jitney? Jiha. Okay. Um, you know the grammatical would be ki jitni because it's uh, feminine singular. But again, like you know, there Hindi speakers, you know, can interchangeably use it ki jitni because it's it comes very very like you know easily. Okay, but uh, you know, to be explicit, you can say ki jitni. There's nothing wrong in the previous one, by the way. But you know, you can, you know, you can use ki jitni. Uh, you know. Uh, even if I were to say this example, let me try it again. Nine movies, purani movies, K jitni, you know. I don't see anything wrong here as well. If that's what is you know throwing you off, like in the previous one, you said you know bike, you know car ke jitni mahingi nahi hai. You you grammatically this is more correct, but you know even if it is saying you K jitni. You know, it's not gonna come across like you know incorrect. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. Any other questions? So this was uh, this was from the Rupert Snell's book uh, that that he covers it. Um, now there are other ways to say it as well. You know, which is basically uh, saying it in a longer way, which is basically uh, you know. Uh, New movies, uh, new movies are not as good as the uh, older ones, which is uh, jitni achhi, jitni achhi uh, purani, purani movies thi, utni achhi nai movies nahi. This is the longer way of saying it, right? Uh, we said the same thing, but slightly differently, in a little bit less complex manner, which is basically. Ah, so I turn Karina and I'm going to tell you that I'm going to study longer. Okay. We we said exactly the same thing, but like we 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 simplified it, which is we really said like what are we really talking about? We are really talking about new movies that they are not as good. Okay. So you can say that new movies itni achhi nahi hai. Okay, no, I want to compare. You can say new movies utni achhi nahi hai. Okay, no, I want to compare again the new ones or the older ones, right? So new movies, purani movie ke jitni achhi nahi hai. Multiple ways to say the same thing, but I thought, I thought this the longer one was was not only harder for you to to say it, it was harder for me to also explain it. There, where you know you will not, uh, you know, you know, have difficulty, or when it will come out pretty smoothly. So this one is kind of saying old movies were, because you have the T, 
correct? Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I, yeah, that's right. Sorry, Ashruti, can I, may I ask a question, please? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether I missed what you said. For me, I was thinking uh, to put in the old movies first and say, this is good, but the new movies are not as good. You know, Purana, Purani movies, Utni Achiti, Nai movies, Jitni Achi Nahi hai. Is that wrong? So you want to say it in a different way? You yeah, want to I want not... to... I mean, I almost feel as if the gold standard is the old movies. So I want to say Utna with the gold standard, which is the old movies, and then say Purani movie, Jitni Achi Nahi Hai. Is that wrong? No, I think you must write. I just, I'm just trying to, uh, let me write it down. I think it will be much easier for that. Way. So now say it your sentence. Uh, Purani film, huh? Utni Achi Thi, Nahi film. So essentially you're saying the same thing, right? Purani film. Jitni I I mean take the emphasis to the old films and then say these are not as good, the new ones are not as good. So you are Maybe. saying so for example, we said X, Y. Do you want to change the order? Like why is better than X? Is that what you're saying? Why? Or... Y used to be very good, but but X is not as good. Am I wrong in switching? So if I'm just saying why was good, like Purani film, mein, jitni achi, no, so okay. jitni achi thi, I will use jitni achi thi, utni nahi achi nahi hai. Okay. 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 But if okay, you're so not saying okay. Jitni, if you're not saying Jitni here, you know, then it's incorrect. Okay. So you're saying yeah. that the X here is the new movie. So that is the one we have to consider. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Ashi ji, can I interrupt just to Nandini one minute? Just to, yeah. Nandini, Jitni is Yatane Katana. Evalavik Evalav Nanarko. That is the Jitni. Utni is Andalavik. Ah, you do it like that, then you'll put the Uttana with the old film. So, anyway, Jitni let's... is meant for Yatana. Uttani is hmm. for Paratana. Yeah. Okay. I will never be able to say that, right? So, thank you so much for, for, for saying it. Okay. Yatana is a movie, Nala, the do. Athana, Pudu movie, Nala. So, you know, in Tamil, interchange. Right. So, I'm getting it wrong because I'm translating from Tamil. There are two ways of saying it, Ashuji. So I have to stick to the way you're saying, sorry. Yeah. All right, so we'll do one more example and then we'll go to the, how are we doing with the for So we snap time. So now let's see, uh, I'm here. So this time we'll go fast, okay? And I want you to also think about some examples, like the way, you know, we, all of us are coming up with examples. Um, so let's say from here, you know, right now in San Francisco, I can say is, you know, Lake Tahoe is not that far. Okay, or it's not as far as Crater Lake, because Crater Lake you have to go to you know uh, Oregon, which is quite far from here. How will I say that in, in Hindi? So um, let me write it down because some of you may not be familiar with the name. So uh, the sentence here is Lake Tahoe, which is a, a lake, is not as far as Crater Lake. So you see there is an adjective, there is X, there is Y. Okay. Let's see. Bundev, you still there? Okay. Yeah, he's there. You want to unmute yourself? I am. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm a little behind though because I wasn't in the class until just now, but okay. So Give it a try. Give it a yeah, try. let me let me see. Um so um Lake Tahoe, um, so Jitni goes first, right? So X, Y, and then the K, Jitna, Jitni, Jitne, and then the adjective. Okay, I'm confused, honestly. I think someone else will have to take this. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. So let's see, um, Dhanraj, you wanna give it a try? Hello? 
Uh, um, no, I'll pass today because I'm a bit pass. lost. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, Sunita Ji. Um, far, um, up, okay. kaise kahate hai? Dur. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Lake Tahoe, mm -hmm. Critter Lake, um, Jitna, Jitna Dur, Nahi hai. Okay, so again, like you can say K or you can say Ki, either way is fine, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can say Ki. Jitni Dur Nahi hai. Dur Nahi hai. Okay, Jitni Dur Nahi hai. Anyone, any questions? So, again, just to repeat, X that you're talking about, Y you are comparing it against, and then the, the you know, because you're comparing it, it's, uh, you know, it's. Uh, K jitni or ki jitni and then your adjective nahi hai. Ashurji, is it always um ki jitni? Is it feminine always? Yeah, so I think you know you probably join a bit late. We we discussed about it. It's really the you know uh, if you just go back, we we we, we mention about like the gender of the the thing you're talking about X. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's basically we discussed like k jitna. And then we say ke jitn, jitni and jitne. Okay. Yeah. So I, I suggest, you know, I think if you watch a couple of examples back, it's not going to take you that long, just a few minutes. Okay. And, yeah. yeah. So I should be in the other way, I can think of it in English, but I haven't got the Hindi. As far as Crater Lake is, Tahoe is not as far. Yes. So now I can't remember which one is which though. <laughs> so as far as Crater Lake is, is going to be which one, the, the Jitna or the Udna? Okay. As far as Crater Lake is, Lake Tahoe is not as far. Da, 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 da. I can't remember which one is which. Which one is the first and second? Where's your so other like in your other example, if we were to use Jitna and Udna, which one would we put first, Lake Tahoe oh, or Crater Lake? So I would say same thing. Crater Lake, Jitti Dur hai, Lake Taho, Utni Dur Nahi hai. So the Crater Lake, Crater Lake, Jitni Dur hai. Okay, I'm going to use the same one. Okay, Crater Lake, Jitni Dur hai, Utni Dur, Lake Taho, Nahi hai. So the Jitni, why is this not sticking in my brain? So the Jitni is the one that you are comparing against. Comparing against, okay. Yeah. Okay. Kelly Jitni Hoshar hai, Utna Hoshar Ashu Nahi hai. Okay. Whatever you said, that is not correct. You are whatever, whoever. <laughs> I knew you were smarter, so put it that way. Right. Okay. So, so the one you're sticking it with, again, so the as far as Crater Lake is, yeah. Lake Tahoe is not that far. So yeah. as far yeah. as Crater Lake is, which one is it again? Is that the. What you're comparing against, you put Jitna and Jitni Jitne with that. Jitni, okay, okay. Yeah. If, Just that like, helps, if that helps you. Yeah. No, that is what helps. So, the because you're doing it there, right? You're doing Crater Lake Key Jitney. So, the Jitney is going with the thing. Yeah. That, haha, ha, okay. But again, like, you know, you can just keep it simple. I know you're forcing yourself to use both Utna and Jitna in one sentence, which you should. But you can keep it simple. X no, I know. It's funny because the, the other way, just like when I say it in English, I get it more than when I say, I don't know. I'm yeah. putting myself in a pretzel. Yes. Yeah. All right. So so we have 10 more minutes and I'm going to, so this was case number one, when you're using Utna and Jitna, when you're comparing and contrasting two things. Okay. We have formula. So I the homework assignment is at least write three sentences. Okay. Uh, with something is not as adjective as the other one. Three examples, your choice. Everybody should post it on WhatsApp group. Okay, now let's do, do we only use it? The, the Uttana and Chitra in these cases or are there more cases? There are definitely more. Uh, so I'm gonna spend some time on case two and case three. Okay, and uh, case number two on when to use. Uh, 
जितना एंड उतना एंड द केस नंबर टू इज आई एम श्योर यू कम अक्रॉस दिनार यू यू नो वेर इन इंग्लिश यू से द मोर यू डू समथिंग द मोर समथिंग विल हैपन राइट In English, it's not confused. There is no confusion because in both the cases, you have the more something, the more this, right? The harder you work, the, you know, the more successful, you know, you will be, right? Um, um, which is basically, uh, jitni, and same thing, utni as well. Okay, so you want to say the the you know the harder you work. or the the more practice you do the more successful you will be or the more you will learn you know so jitni i can say jitni practice i'm just saying it in english okay jitni practice karoge okay i'm going to say masculine utna sikhoge okay i i said it in in you know so let me i think i see there's some background noise so jitni practice karoge utna sikhoge सीखना इज टू लर्न ओके इन दिस केस इट्स एन इम्पेरेटिव बिकॉज आई एम गिविंग सजेशन और गाइडेंस टू समन ओके सो लेट्स आई एम टॉकिंग टू माई सन आई एम टेलिंग एम लाइक द मोर यू 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 स्टडी और प्रैक्टिस द मोर और द बेटर यू विल बी ओके सो जितनी प्रैक्टिस करोगे उतना सीखोगे ओके क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस वन ऑन दिस पैटर्न Okay. Anyone else who can take just this example? I know I have not given enough, you know, examples here. But anyone wants to just put fill in the blank. Jitna and utna. Is it karunge or karenge? If you're saying the more you, I thought it was like karunge. If it says the more I. So practice. For, if you're saying it for yourself, then you know, jitni mai practice karunge, utna mai sikhunge. Okay. If I'm telling it to you. राइट तुम और आप जितना प्रैक्टिस करेंगे आई मीन हाउ आई कैन से इट इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ओके सो इफ यू नो व्हाट व्हाट्स द सिनेरियो इन योर माइंड रीता जी नो यू वर सेइंग लाइक इफ यू टोल्ड योर सन सो देन आई वाज जस्ट सेइंग आई थिंक देन इट वुड बी जितनी अम अबियास करेंगे या उतना सेकंड सेकंड आई आई फाइंड सेइंग हिम लाइक तुम जितना अभ्यास करोगे इफ आई एम यूजिंग तुम विदाउट saying it then karoge if i'm saying aap aap jitni practice karenge utna sikhenge okay let me write it down maybe i think that's what you're thinking in your mind so if you are saying it in a more respectful way aap jitni practice karenge aur abhyas karenge utna seekhenge is that what you were thinking in your mind rita ji correct yeah, yeah i was just getting of trying to get the future tense still yeah so you said, <laughs> you said it in future tense i said it in an imperative okay right? got right? it so the point is focus on this part utna jitna and the manner in which you said it it doesn't matter you can say it in present uh, you know tense also like जो जितना प्रैक्टिस करता है वह उतना सीखता है आई सेड इट इन प्रेजेंटेंस या व्हिच मींस लाइक जनरली हुएवर वर्क्स हार्ड यू नो दे दे बिकम सक्सेसफुल या यस ये ओके अम एनीवन एल्स वुड लाइक टू एक्सपेरिमेंट विद इट रिप्लेस प्रैक्टिस करेंगे एंड सीखेंगे विद समथिंग एल्स इट्स ओके टू मेक मिस्टेक्स How do you say the more the merrier? Like in the party, yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, हम जितने जल्दी चलेंगे, उतनी um जल्दी पहुँचूँगा, पहुँचूँगी. Okay, very good, amazing. Yeah. Who said that? Prabhat. Prabhat. Awesome. See, I okay. recognize your voice also now. <laughs> so <laughs> that हम जितनी जल्दी चलेंगे, चलेंगे. उतनी जल्दी पहुँचेंगे. Okay. 
Say it. What translate it for everyone, Prabhaji? Um, in English, if we if we walk fast, we can reach reach there. Sorry. हम जितनी जल्दी चलेंगे उतनी जल्दी पहुंचेंगे. पहुंचेंगे. Very good. पहुंचेंगे. Okay. हम जितनी जल्दी चलेंगे उतनी जल्दी पहुंचेंगे. Awesome. Anyone else? Um, I can try one. Yeah, go for it. Kelly ji, आप जितनी गाना um अभ्यास करेंगे उतनी um अच्छी गाएंगे. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Anyone else? I had said in the chat. Um. जितनी भाषाएं सीखूंगा उतने दोस्त मिलूंगा ओके मैं जितनी भाषाएं सीखूंगा उतने लोगों से मिलूंगा और बात कर सकूंगा जितने जितने लोग और दोस्त जितने लोग आएंगे उतना उतना मजा आएगा ओके सो दिस वन कैन बी हार्डर फॉर सम पीपल सो आएंगे इट्स आना इज टू कम लाइक और अराइव सो जितने लोग आएंगे फ्यूचर इंडेफिनेट द मोर पीपल विल कम लाइक मैं आऊंगा हम आएंगे Okay, in this case, log aayenge, and then it's like maza aayega. Maza aana is to have fun, right? Utna maza aayega, okay? Utna maza aayega. Anyone else? Kinga, you want to experiment? You can unmute yourself. Uh, jitni uh. जितनी कोशिश करेंगे उतनी उतनी सफलता सफलता बनाएंगे जितनी कोशिश करेंगे उतनी सफलता मिलेगी वेरी गुड जितनी कोशिश करेंगे उतनी सफलता मिलेगी यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसलेट इट फॉर एवरी वन the more you try uh, the more success you uh, you will get more uh, the, the more success you will get okay so i'm going to write it down so jitni koshish koshish karna is to work hard right jitni koshish karenge you can say it for yourself you can say it for other people hum jitni koshish karenge utni safalta safalta is success safalta milegi okay so uh this one can be slightly hard but the homework is also to at least think about two sentences uh and you don't need the he huh? you don't need you don't need the he after who uh no no because milegi future indefinite hum jitni koshish karenge utni safalta milegi okay so you want to say utni hi safalta milegi here i just didn't know if you needed the he okay in the end there is no he okay. uh there are some cases where you know you can put he which is not the he but utni hi safalta mile you can put he here some so, cases so jitne me ka kaungi utna me mota baungi one more time jitna me jitna me kaungi utna me mota baungi jitna main jitni khaungi utna okay okay you can say it in a different way but yeah i know what you're trying to say it's grammatically correct okay uh, but you can say the more you eat the more you know you your appetite becomes so jitni yeah, the more i eat uh, the fatter i get 
ओके सो जितनी मैं खाऊंगी उतनी मोटी हो जाऊंगी यू कैन से उतनी मोटी होंगी दैट्स व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से and any any questions i know we are right at 9 o'clock anyone anyone has any question before we do the breakout room okay so in the breakout room the topic is simple you just purely talk about this topic using utna and jitna um you have to challenge the group so each person will take turn and then challenge the other person to to come up with something similar okay um so for folks who are watching live uh, thank you so much uh, we'll meet uh, again uh, next sunday and for folks uh, who are in